Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our final video on Craft Corner today. We're going to be feature our final craft of North American Week, and it is a totem pole. Uh, totem poles been are uh, carved out by the uh, first people, the Native Americans of the Northwest coastal regions of the United States, uh, Western Canada, and also Alaska. Um, the Inuit and the Tlingit are very known for their totem pole carvings. Here's a sample of a couple from Alaska. The tallest one they have is 132 feet. That's pretty good. Um, totem poles are carved from cedar wood because they're rot resistant and it's very humid and a lot of rainfall and moisture in that part of the country. Um, totem poles usually display characters, uh, tell ancient stories. Um, the figures display animals and people and supernatural beings. They can be carved as memorials, family representations, it can be a welcome or a greeting, or even represent a historical event. Um, they, let's see, okay, moving on from there. So our totem pole for today, we've I picked out four animals traditional carvings. We have the bear who stands for power and strength. The beaver represents a builder, also a gatherer. He is a resourceful master builder. The eagle who's considered a divine spirit and has a connection to the creator and ruler of the sky. And finally the fox who represents courage and also stealth and can be a trickster. So he, they, all these animals have many roles in uh, the Native Americans uh, legend and mythology. So to get us started, you have a paper tube and we have these in your kit and they're pre-glued to a little base so they don't tip over, which sometimes they do anyways, but this does make things a little easier. So I, ahead of time I did some pre-coloring. I like to use colored pencils, but crayons and markers work. And colored pencils help me with the little details. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to work on my eagle here. Decided to skip eagle. We're going to go to beaver. Since their carvings have, they after they carve them, they paint them before they put them up. And I they added a lot of color on the faces of the animals, which are non-traditional colors, so what we usually see in nature. So the beaver are giving them a green face. And let's see. I'm gonna work on a blue for the bear. The bluish purple. jazzed up. And the fox, let's see. I think I'm going to give her more hair. Some gold. Okay. Alright, so the, the American bald eagle, or also North American bald eagle, is usually has a white hat, so we don't need to add too much color there. But I want to lightly shade in some of the feathers around the neck. And of course, we got to give them a colored beak. Okay, so now we got our, our animals all set. Okay, next thing you're going to do, uh, glue stick works really well. So we're going to completely cover the back side with glue.
go. I'm getting there. All right, next part, many totem poles, like this one here, has like wings carved on it. So we're gonna take, there's a half a paper plate, and we wanna use, let's go like that. <laughs> the side that doesn't go in, so this is the flatter side. And we're gonna use some markers. And we're going to draw some colorful designs. Some red and some blue. Splash of orange. Okay, so this part you can be very creative, do geometric shapes, you can make it look like an eagle wings. Alright, and then you want to glue it maybe about two inches down from the top. And Elmer's glue would work well, or you could just tape it. That's an option. I got my hot glue gun here, so I'm gonna for time we'll do that. totem pole. And we have some books on totem poles at the library too if you want to read more about it. Okay, so that's our uh, last uh, craft video for the week for North American crafts coming up. Hope to see you at the library. We'll have the craft kits ready and sign up for summer reading club. We miss seeing everyone and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.